Hi friends, welcome to Taming Python series. In this video, we're going to talk about how to send logs to a syslog server in Python using the syslog handler module of the Python's logging module. So this is basically the source code of how you can send logs to a syslog server in Python using the syslog handler in the Python's logging module. Basically, you add a new handler to a logger, which is a syslog handler and specify the remote syslog server host and port. So let's get started with coding. I'm going to take a blank Python file and in that I'm going to import the logging module. Let's import the syslog handler class from logging dot handlers import syslog handler. Now let's create a syslog handler instance so that we can use it. Syslog handler equal to the syslog handler of the first input you have to give is the address. So I'm going to write address equal to it's a tuple where the first item would be the IP address of the remote syslog host. So I'm going to write localhost which is 127.0.0.1 and the port of the syslog server where it is listening for the logs by default it's UDP 514 so now I got a handler that can send logs to the syslog server which is running at localhost port 514 UDP so if I write localhost sometimes this doesn't work so write IP address instead of localhost if it's a remote syslog server then obviously you are going to write the IP address of the remote syslog server. All right, let's try to create a logger instance now. Logger equal to logging dot get logger. So if I don't mention any name of the logger, I'm going to get the root logger here. And then let's add a handler to it. Logger dot add handler. And our handler is a syslog handler. Let's set the minimum logging level. So I'm going to write logger dot set level as logging dot info so all the logs about the logging level info should be logged and that's it now our logging is set up so let's try to create logs now i'm going to write logger dot info this is a sample info message let's try to create an another message logger dot warning and let's try to create a warning message now since i've added the syslog handler when i log the message this is sent to the syslog server so let's try to test this now. So for testing this, I need to have a syslog server running in localhost, right? So in my previous videos, I've already explained how to set up a simple syslog server in Windows using syslog watcher. So I'm going to open that now. So syslog watcher, I've already installed and configured syslog watcher in this computer. If you don't know how to install syslog watcher, I've already made a video on that and I'll leave the link of that video in the description. So you can see a simple syslog server setup. Let's try to start this syslog server now. This syslog server is running on localhost and it's listening at UDP 514 port. So now if I send logs from this Python code, the logs should be received here. So let's try to do that now. Let's try to run this Python code. And let's see, we have received two log messages. So let's try to see those. I'm going to open the storage tab and I'm seeing two log messages. Let's try to click that and let's try to view them. And here I got two messages, which is a sample info message and sample warning message. Let's try to run the program again and let's try to send logs again. And here, let's try to refresh this and I got four logging messages. So this way, just by using the syslog handler in the existing Python's logging module, you can easily send logs to a remote syslog server. Obviously, this is a very simple and minimum logging setup. If you want to know how to set up logging in Python, I've already made videos on that and I will leave the link of that videos in the description of this video. So that's it guys. This is how you can send logs to a remote syslog server very easily using the syslog handler class in the Python's logging module. You can see I have created a blog post on sending logs to a syslog server in Python using the syslog handler. I have also given you the source code so that you can copy paste and practice it in your own computer. So be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video. I have also given you the references to the official documentation so that you can do further reading. Hope you like this video guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.